From hidden craters in tropical jungles to a lake sealed under the Antarctic ice for millions of years, here are 10 of the most mysterious lost worlds here on planet Earth. Number 10. Melville Range, Australia Two hours from Cairns, in the northern part of Australia, lies a dark mountain of boulders that rises up from the rainforest. Known as Cape Melville, the isolated range is barely visited by biologists and until recently, explorers didn't know what treasures could be found there. A peninsula dominated by the Melville Range, Cape Melville rises from plains of dry forests and is bounded on both sides by the sea. 120 miles south lies a rainforest with an incredible geology that has been unheard of until 1978 when a local Aboriginal man told botanists about it. Describing an unusual palm he found there, the man's discovery, the foxtail palm, later ended up being in high demand for its unique and unusual features that are found only on the boulder fields of Cape Melville. Today, the plant is common along esplanades from Cairns to Florida. Also found only in Cape Melville is another plant known as Cape Melville Nightshade, as well as three invertebrates, including a snake-eyed skink, a tree frog and a boulder frog that were all discovered there in the late 1990s. In 2013, a group of scientists and researchers were sent along with National Geographic film crew into Cape Melville Mountains to explore, and there they discovered a lost world teeming with undiscovered flora and fauna. The Nine Mile Range is practically impossible to reach due to its massive granite boulders that shield it from incoming vehicles. Scientists originally believed that there wasn't much to explore there until they used satellite imagery to detect a small rainforest near a large rock outcropping. The crew took a few days to reach the isolated rainforest, and by the time they got there, three different invertebrate species had been discovered, with one being estimated at least one million years old. A leaf-tailed gecko that only measures about three inches in length with comically large eyes and long legs was one of the species found there. Its distinctive skin pattern helps to camouflage it. Another lizard species discovered by the team, the skink, is a slender golden scaled creature that scurries and leaps from boulders. Maybe it's the remote location or the car and house sized chunks of granite that protect the area that has allowed these previously undiscovered species to survive and thrive there. Whatever the case, it's exciting to realise that there are still undiscovered places holding many secrets to Earth's past. Number 9. Sima Humboldt, Venezuela In Venezuela, in the Bolivar state, there is an expansive land with a carpet, a beautiful green forest with very deep holes that have other hidden forests at their very bottom. Discovered in 1961 by a jungle pilot who was flying over the mysterious mountain area, the strange features found in the primeval forest are actually sinkholes, and one is considered the deepest cave in the world. Believed to have been formed as the result of erosion caused by underground rivers, Sima Humboldt was explored by an expedition in 1974 looking for botanical and scientific evidence of its creation. Because they have walls that are so large that one cannot exit from the bottom, hidden species of plants and animals were able to exist there and do not exist anywhere else on Earth. The sinkholes were later named by one of the participants in the expedition with their names Sima Major or Large Sinkhole and Sima Minor or Small Sinkhole. Sima Major with a depth of 1000 feet or 314 meters and a volume of 750 million cubic feet is the largest of the two. Its upper rim is smaller than its base at about 1200 feet or 350 meters wide but at the base it is about 1600 feet wide or 502 meters. Roughly circular in form, various minerals and natural features are found including stalactites, gypsum and opal. But the unique features of the sinkholes did not stop there. Locals believe that an evil spirit lives in the jungle covered sinkhole, known as Tepi. The spirit is believed to live in the cave where it hunts for humans and is often found devouring human flesh. With its remote location and the mystique surrounding it, it makes sense that mythological stories would be told about this wondrous locale in the Venezuelan rainforest. Number 8. East Scotia Ridge Isolated in the Southern Ocean, there exists water rich with strange and unusual chemicals jetting out from the ocean floor. This environment, though toxic to humans, is called the East Scotia Ridge and is home to many unique and interesting creatures. Just because it is one of the deepest places on Earth doesn't mean life cannot thrive there. In fact, a new type of yeti crab, various new species of barnacles, anemones and even a white octopus were discovered. Located about 100 miles to the east of the southern tip of South America, the East Scotia Ridge is an area where the seafloor spreads apart and allows molten rock to push upward, building a new crust. The spot where the water percolates to the cracks in the rocks is what attracts these creatures. 
In 2009 and 2011, researchers used a remote operated vehicle to explore the bridge which stretches 1.5 miles or 2.5 kilometers deep. After photographing the area and measuring the temperature, they brought up water for analysis and found it to be rich in chemicals that could support life from both microbes to larger organisms. Explorers believe the crabs and other life found there may feed on the bacteria spewed from the ocean floor. With evidence supporting the discovery of life on East Scotia Bridge that has been isolated for millions of years, researchers believe that the frigid waters around the area are what helped to preserve not only this massive hidden spot beneath the water's surface, but also the various creatures that are found there at the bottom of the sea. Do you think that there could be more undiscovered species in deep parts of the ocean rich with strange compounds from inside the Earth? Some of the most bizarre ocean creatures live there, and it is possible that a weird energy source like these vents is causing new and unusual forms of life to thrive. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Of course, while you're at it, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and let us know which place you would like to visit in the comments below. Number 7. Palawan Highlands, Philippines In the Philippines, an area known as Palawan Island is home to lavish beaches, impressive caves and wildlife that will take your breath away. A tropical rainforest that was rifted from the Asian mainland 32 million years ago, the Palawan Highlands have a diverse vegetation including beach forests, tropical lowlands, evergreen and semi-deciduous forests. Many groups of animals that are found there are not found anywhere else in the Philippines including pangolins, porcupines and some insects. Located on the other side of a channel that separates it from Borneo, new species are being discovered there all the time. In 2009, a giant meat-eating plant known as a giant planter was found there. So large that it can catch rats in its leafy trap, the plant is just one new species that was found in the highlands of central Philippines. During the same expedition, botanists found strange pink ferns and blue mushrooms that they hadn't previously identified. Eager to explore the area, botanists set off on a two-month expedition to scale Mount Victoria and find the exotic plant. Number 6. Bosavi Crater, Papua New Guinea Mount Basavi is right in the middle of a lush tropical jungle in Papua New Guinea. Long believed to be an extinct volcano with an enormous crater filled with the rainforest, researchers believe that it could contain a treasure trove of undiscovered species. With 3200 foot crater walls, animals would have been unable to scale the walls and climb out, leaving them there for thousands of years in isolation. Located in the inaccessible southern highlands, western scientists have never been able to explore this place until 2009 when a group from the Museum of Natural History in Oxford went there to film an expedition. Flown to a nearby village, researchers took a four-day trek to the crater where they found rare species including a fruit dove, a pygmy parrot, an incredible hairy caterpillar and a unique jungle spider camouflaged as lichen. Iridescent beetles, unique bats and endangered amphibians were also some of the unique creatures found there. Deep in the remote highlands of the island, Mount Basavi is found on the Great Papayam Plateau, which is part of the Kikori River Basin, located in the Sulawesi Wildlife Management Area. Although not much is known about this area, the locals have detailed stories to tell tales of ash falling from an eruption in 1660 AD. Could this remote natural wonder have been created some 500,000 years ago? The area is inaccessible even to locals, with those in the native Kausa tribe who live there rarely visiting the area. Its remote location is the very thing that allows its incredible treasure trove of wildlife creatures to thrive. Number 5. Mobile Cave, Romania Cut off from the world for millions of years, Moville Cave in Romania lies in the middle of a desolate field where it has remained isolated for 5.5 million years. Even though no light can travel there and the air is thick with harmful gases, many unique spiders, scorpions, woodlice and centipedes can be found there. It was discovered in 1986 by a group of workers in Romania who were testing the ground to see if it was viable for a power plant. They stumbled across the cave, but because it was in such a treacherous area, less than 100 people have ever been inside it. Those who have been there described their dangerous descent and painted a dark picture. To access the cave, one has to lower themselves by a rope 70 feet down a narrow shaft. The only light there is the one that is on your helmet and illuminates the narrow limestone tunnels that are covered in ochre-coloured clay. In pitch darkness, visitors find themselves in temperatures of nearly 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius that eventually open into a central cavern that contains a lake. In 2010, microbiologists went into the cave to study the warm sulfuric waters and found unidentified species living there. With only 10% oxygen in the local atmosphere of this cave, visitors can only stay down for 5 or 6 hours before their oxygen levels drop too low and their kidneys start to fail. 
Once you're there, you must dive into the lake to find your way through narrow underwater passageways where you must squeeze through tiny gaps in the rock to find air pockets to breathe. If you can brave the conditions, you'll find many scuttling and slithering things, including 33 species that are found nowhere else in the world. From spiders to water scorpions and leeches to crustaceans, the animals that live there get their food from the water that drips down from stalactites and stalagmites overhead. Scientists later analysed the water in the cave and found radioactive cesium and strontium, two chemicals that were released during the 1986 nuclear accidents at Chernobyl. Scientists believe this points to the fact that the waters are not coming from above, but must be coming from somewhere below. These chemicals also tend to erode the limestone, which makes the caves bigger. One can't help but wonder whether this will affect the creatures found there, or if it will unearth more that have yet to be found. If anywhere in the world has mutated radioactive creatures, it's this cave in Romania. Do you think it could be true? The place is so isolated, it seems like it might actually be possible. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Number 4. Mount Roraima In South America, a unique mountain nicknamed the Floating Island juts straight out of the earth. With sheer cliffs that are over 1300 feet tall and four sides that drop off sharply into oblivion, the plateau looks like it has popped out of the ground and floats in mid-air. The geological formation is known as the Tepui, a tabletop mountain of sandstone plateau, which name means House of the Gods. Researchers believe formations like this were created when sand settled and became rock at the bottom of ancient oceans 2 billion years ago. Compared to Mount Everest, which was only formed 60 million years ago, Mount Roraima is ancient. But how did it get its sheer cliffs? Scientists believe that after the sandstone formed, the oceans receded, eroding the sides of the plateau to create a giant shelf that was made of ancient rock. You might think that such a stark location wouldn't have many life forms there, but a 2012 research paper compared the DNA of four different tree frog species that were found in similar plateaus around South America. Interestingly, all of the frogs had a common ancestor that lived 5.3 million years ago, which means that there was some way for the creatures to migrate from the mountain tops on their own. But another 35% of the species found on the mountain are native only to that area, including a carnivorous plant known as the pitcher plant that traps insects in its digestive fluids. As researchers continue to explore the area, they are looking at a giant cave hidden within which is believed to have taken tens of billions of years to form and where they expect to uncover minerals and unique species of animals that have never been seen before. Number 3. Challenger Deep Nearly 35,000 feet, 11 kilometers below the ocean's surface, Challenger Deep is the deepest known part of the world's oceans. Named after the HMS Challenger, 19th century Royal Navy ship that circumnavigated the globe, Challenger Deep isn't actually a single spot on the ocean floor. It has a localised deep area like a trough, basin or trench, and Challenger Deep is estimated to cover an area of 129,000 miles squared, nearly four times as large as Lake Superior. But because of its harsh location, how can we really know that it's that point on Earth? Leave it to James Cameron, Hollywood director of Titanic, to figure it out. Using a custom-built submersible, he visited the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, completing a solo dive to find out. The gap located between tectonic plates stretches 1,500 miles along the Western Pacific, the deep chasm that exudes over 15,000 pounds of force per square inch. That's over 1,000 times atmospheric pressure. Cameron's descent lasted two and a half hours. But why would anyone want to go to the lowest point on Earth? Apparently, the volcanic vents are a great place to identify new species, and finding them allows scientists to continue mapping the ocean floor. Deeper waters are mostly unexplored, and mapping them out would help scientists to find new areas that might contain undiscovered species, or even sources of energy, minerals, or other resources. Number 2. Son Dung Cave In Vietnam, the world's largest cave, Hang Son Dung, can be found. Inside, a lush jungle grows with water dripping from a ceiling 328 feet above ground level. Birds and macaque monkeys linger in the limestone in a world that looks like it's from a Jurassic Park movie. Found in the heart of UNESCO's Hong Na Ki Bang National Park, Hang Song Dung is one of the most captivating destinations in Southeast Asia. The cave, whose name means the Mountain River Cave, was first discovered in 1990 by a local farmer who was seeking shelter from the storm in the jungle. After noticing clouds and the sound of an underground river, he explored the large hole in the limestone. 
After losing his bearings when he returns to share the location with the British Caving Research Association, the location of the Hongdoon Cave would be lost for another 18 years. Luckily, the farmer later stumbled upon the entrance again in 2008, which he shared with researchers who later explored the cave, and in 2010, it was deemed to be the largest ever cave in the world. With heights of 650 feet and stretching three miles long, the main cavern is large enough to house an entire New York City block. With an incredibly unique and large ecosystem with its own localized weather system, some of the unique finds inside the cave are rare limestone pearls and the largest stalagmites ever found, stretching 260 feet tall. Foliage can grow in caves through collapsed ceilings known as dolines. The delicate ecosystem, though, is at risk for so many visitors wanting to come to this hidden gem deep in the Vietnamese jungle. A truly pristine environment, Hang Song Dun and its colossal caves are a beautiful example of nature unspoiled. Number 1. Lake Vostok Antarctica's largest subglacial lake, Lake Vostok, has been isolated from the surface for 15 million years. In 2012, a Russian team drilled a hole 11,000 feet deep down to the lake's surface, where water samples obtained from the hole were said to contain DNA that held unknown bacteria. Another attempt was made by a Russian team of ice explorers, who broke through to the lake buried beneath the thick Antarctic ice. One of the largest subglacial lakes in the world, Vostok was once a large surface lake in East Antarctica. Covered with ice for millennia and cut off from light and contact with the atmosphere, it is one of the most extreme environments on Earth and one of the largest lakes in size and volume. First discovered in the 1960s by a Russian geographer who was flying over the area and noticed a large smooth patch of ice above the lake, Lake Vostok is believed to hold many secrets still to be revealed. Using remote sensing techniques, including seismic soundings and ice-penetrating radar, scientists believe it is a lot shallower on one end than the other, with the two basins separated by a ridge in the middle. Scientists also believe there could be a hydrothermal vent where tube worms and other oceanic creatures may dwell. After analysing samples taken from the lake, scientists believe that it may be home to a unique ecosystem unlike any other found on planet Earth. Studies of the lake's ice revealed DNA from a variety of organisms that are related to single-celled creatures found in lakes, oceans and streams but could mimic life on other moons and planets. With conditions similar to Jupiter's Europa, Lake Vostok seems to be thriving despite its harsh conditions. With temperatures in Antarctica colder than anywhere else on Earth, it seems mind-blowing that organisms could find a way to survive here. But more than that, they seem to be thriving in these isolated caves, and it is up to researchers to continue to explore and analyse these subarctic hidden treasures. Which of these lost worlds would you most like to visit? Which ones terrify you? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you soon for another exciting video.